Hey, hello, what's up, and welcome. Today I wanted to talk about one of my favorite film stocks. Yep, more camera talk. Did you really expect anything different? Double Cinema 800. Double Film is a company based out of Barcelona, Spain. I'm not sure when or how I stumbled across them, but it probably had something to do with the internet. Anyway, ever since I got my hands on their films, I have fallen in love. 800 Speed Film. I have shot this film quite a bit. I always make sure I have it in my rotation or in my film fridge. More on that later. I love it at night. I love it with neon and I love it for my weddings. But we can't just sit here and talk about film. We also need to go out and shoot some of it. So we're gonna meet up with some friends, some fellow photogs here in town and have ourselves a good old fashioned hootin' nanny. Cinema's colors are vibrant but it also has a slight fade in the shadows. And it's a cooler base temperature, but not as tungsten as a Cine Still 800. Keep that in mind. I actually prefer cinema if I had to choose one film stock to shoot both in daylight and at nighttime. I am not a fan of Cine Still 800 during the day for me personally. But with double cinema, I I absolutely love shooting it during the day. Camera. Nice. What do you got, Samuel? Oh, got the, you can't move this fast. This thing's old, bro. Me, I got the me? Sora 200 from Film Never Die. Sora 200 from Film Ooh. Never Die. <laughs> well, that was a good aim. All right, Ryan Fremont, um, I've shot this film quite a bit, but for this one in particular, I was intentional with what I was shooting at nighttime, a lot of neon and just the ambiance of Fremont Street. Met up with some other local photographers here in town, like Sarah, Nick, Mike Kirschbaum, Cole Curtis. I just love how versatile this film can be. As you can see with shooting it in broad daylight with harsh sun, the colors are phenomenal. And then at night, obviously 800 speed, you can get away with quite a bit. Here are some great examples of double cinema in daylight. This was from our trip to Cabo, Mexico. And I think this was one of the first times that I actually tried the film stock. So I wasn't even fully aware of what it would look like. These are actually one of my favorite sets of photos in general. Double tends to sell out of their quantities pretty fast. So if you're eyeballing anything from them and you wait, you will most likely miss out and have to wait for a restock. They are not a big house like a Kodak or a Lomo. So their runs are a lot more limited. I had to run downtown again real quick to finish off a couple of frames left on the roll. I was also accompanied by my lovely wife, Ivana. If you've never been to Fremont Street, especially at night, it is a delight, I will say that much. It's sensory overload if you're not used to just, yeah, I don't even know how to describe it. There's so many things going on all at once. Uh, there's a lot to take in, some good, some bad, and a lot of ugly, if you know what I mean. Well, yeah, I think it's time for me to get out of here. And as always, thanks again for watching and supporting the channel. Be sure to like and subscribe, all that shit, I don't know. Anyway, have you shot double cinema before? Let me know in the comments. Let's chat about this film stock. Peace.